हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2015 एग्जाम एंड एज फॉर वन मार्क दे हैव गिवन यू दीज फोर स्टेटमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टीसीपी वी नीड टू टेल व्हिच वन ऑफ दीज फोर इज फॉल्स एंड व्हिच वन इज ट्रू सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद स्टेटमेंट नंबर 1 इट सेज इफ द सीक्वेंस नंबर ऑफ अ सेगमेंट इज m देन द सीक्वेंस नंबर ऑफ सबसीक्वेंट सेगमेंट इज ऑलवेज m प्लस 1 दिस इज फॉल्स सी सपोज दीज आर टू सेगमेंट्स okay tcp segments so there will be a tcp header in starting of both of these segments and there will be some data suppose these are the data bytes now they are saying the sequence number of a segment is m so for this entire segment sequence number is m and there will be a field called sequence number in the header so in that field we have saved m for this entire segment okay now you very well know that sequence number of a segment depends on the sequence number of first byte so this means sequence number of this first byte it will also be m okay what will be the sequence number of second byte m plus 1 then m plus 2 m plus 3 m plus 4 m plus 5 m plus 6 and so on okay suppose there are total x bytes okay this segment contains x bytes of data in total then what will be the sequence number of this byte this one is m m plus 1 m plus 2 m plus 3 so on this one will be m plus x okay here we have m plus x now sequence number of first byte is m plus x and sequence number of a entire segment is same as that of the sequence number of first byte okay so sequence number of the next segment will be m plus x only but they are saying it is always m plus 1 so this word always makes this statement false okay in some cases it is possible that if the sequence number of a segment is m it is possible that sequence number of next segment is m plus 1 if this segment contains only one byte of data okay like this so there is only one byte of data that is byte sequence numbered m so this byte sequence number will always be m plus 1 because we don't have any more bytes here hence this segment will also be having the sequence number m plus 1 okay now let us see the statement number 2 statement number 2 says if estimated round trip time at any given point of time is t seconds then the value of retransmission time out is always greater than or equal to t this is true see how can i say this statement is true for that let us first see what is round trip time round trip time means the time required for one byte of data to start from the sender so sender has right now transmitted this byte this byte has reached the receiver here okay again this byte has to come back to the sender this is one round trip time so one byte is transferred like this okay now retransmission time out must be surely greater than or equal to this time because see if a sender has transmitted some packet in this much time so at this time the last byte of packet was put on to the channel so this last bit will take some time to reach the receiver then that acknowledgement has to come back so this is 1 rtt that means if at this time you have transmitted the last bit of data of the packet you cannot expect the acknowledgement before this time okay because this much is the rtt so obviously retransmission time out must be greater than this time because during this time we can never expect acknowledgement acknowledgement can be expected starting from this time anywhere here okay so we take some window like this much time is considered that starting from here to here you can receive acknowledgement any time okay so transmission time out as always greater than or equal to t okay see it will be equal to t in the ideal case that means 
एट दिस टाइम ओनली यू विल रिसीव अ एक्नोलेजमेंट बट प्रैक्टिकली अ पैकेट में फॉलो एनी पाथ ओके मे बी देर इज सम कंजेशन ऑन सम राउटर और एन नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स कैन हैपन प्रैक्टिकली यू कैन रिसीव दैट एक्नोलेजमेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम ओके एंड वी हैव वेरियस एल्गोरिदम्स टू कैलकुलेट दिस there is a basic algorithm and we have jacobson's algorithm we have seen all of those things in theory lectures okay anyways the main thing is this time out will always be greater than the round trip time okay now let us see statement number 3 it says size of advertised window never changes during course of tcp connection this one is also false size of the advertisement window keeps on changing okay what is advertisement window advertisement window is a way through which receiver suppose i am the receiver a way through which receiver will tell the sender that how much empty space is left in its buffer suppose my buffer is of 5 packets or 5 mss and one of them is already filled so i will advertise my window as four because i have four empty spaces so receiver will sorry the sender will see that four empty places are there it will send say two mss so two of them have been utilized now what will i advertise i will advertise i have only two empty places or two mss remaining in my buffer so you can see earlier i advertised four now i am advertising only two so the advertisement window can change suppose now the sender has sent me one packet out of these two also one will be utilized now i will advertise one okay so say only one empty place is left now i have advertised one but during this time i have cleared my buffer completely now even these places to the sender now okay so this will keep on changing hence statement number 3 is false Okay now let us see the statement number 4 it says the number of unacknowledged bytes at sender is always less than or equal to advertised window this one is true see read it it says the number of unacknowledged bytes at sender all the unacknowledged data at sender has to be placed in sender window okay suppose this is the sender window ws all the data that is currently unacknowledged will be placed in this window suppose this much of the window is filled that means this much data is currently unacknowledged okay it is transmitted but acknowledgement is not yet received now see unacknowledged bytes at sender can never be greater than the sender window size because we have to place that data in this window okay it will be less than or equal to sender window size Now let us find out what is the relation in sender window size and the advertised window. So one thing that you need to know that advertised window is receiver window only. Okay, advertised window means receiver is saying I have this much empty space in my buffer. So it is simply receiver window. So if this is the receiver side and here we have the receiver window, you can see always sender window size. will be less than receiver window size only the relation that we studied in theory lectures was sender window size is equal to minimum of congestion window and receiver window okay so you can take some values of both of these and you will analyze that sender window size will always be less than receiver window size okay and tcp always makes sure that we don't send the data which cannot be placed in receiver window okay that means we always try to send data which the receiver can easily accept okay we don't want to overflow this buffer ever that is called flow control at tcp okay we have studied all of this stuff see in case wc is smaller this is smaller and this is larger in that case ws will take this value only now see if wc is smaller wr is larger then minimum of both of these will be wc 
so w s sender window will be equal to congestion window it is still smaller than this receiver window and if this one is smaller if this one is smaller and this one is larger in that case w s will be equal to w r so w s is less than or equal to w r always okay now just read the statement again the number of unacknowledged bytes say x is the number of unacknowledged bytes these bytes will be less than or equal to sender window size because eventually this data has to be placed into this window at sender is always less than or equal to advertised window advertised window means wr so this is less than or equal to this this is less than or equal to this that means x is less than or equal to wr so statement number four is also true so the options contained various combinations like two and three is true and maybe one and four is true and so on okay so you can see option which says there are they were asking about which one is false so option which says one and three is false that is the answer to this question okay